thought for the day. You don't owe perfection to anyone. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we are reminded of the benefits of making self-care a daily habit. Have a listen. Number one, reflect on your self-care practice. How do you take care of yourself? This can be a great self-care practice on its own. So take some time, take a piece of paper and a pen and maybe brew some tea for yourself and reflect. Some questions you can use are, what do you do to take care of yourself? What makes you feel amazing? How often do you take breaks? How often do you have alone time? Do you have at least one moment in your day where you can fully rest? And what can you do to lift yourself up? Number two, disconnect and have a screenless day. Of course, this doesn't have to be an entire day. If you don't have time, it can also be an evening or an afternoon, for example. But the point is to disconnect from screens and technology for a little while to get back in touch with yourself more because our screens tend to distract us from what's really going on. And so it's nice to take some time for yourself and reflect what it is you actually truly need. When you're having your screenless day or your screenless part of your day, then you might get a little bored. And this gives room for a lot of the fun self-care activities that I'm also going to share in this list. So you can also do them on your screenless day. For example, number three, eat a simple healthy meal. Sometimes it can be so nice to go to the market or the food shop and get some groceries and cook something nice and simple and yummy and healthy for yourself just because. So it can be something like a salad or a wrap with veggies or a nice Indian curry, whatever you find tasty. And taking the time to properly cook something healthy for yourself is a great act of self-care because it shows that you're willing to invest in your health and also that you find having something yummy to eat for yourself is worth putting that time and effort into. Or number four, practice a hobby. Often when we think about self-care, we think about very chill, laid-back activities, but it can also be something very active that gets your juices flowing and gets you excited. And practicing a hobby can boost your energy, creativity, positivity, and it can be such a nice activity to do by yourself or with someone else if it's a hobby that you can do with others. Just make sure that it is something that you actually enjoy doing, not because you have to, but because you just really like it. Number five, see a friend. We are not all introverts and some people really need to be around people and hang out with a friend to feel recharged. And even for me, I'm an introvert, but I still so enjoy hanging out with a friend or going somewhere with them. And if it's not possible to meet up, see if you can call or video chat, having some real human connection one-on-one can be so valuable for taking proper care of your mental health. Number six, read a book. I have talked about the many, many, many health benefits of reading in this video right here. And it is a healthy habits video, so be sure to check it out if you're interested. Uh, Reading improves cognitive functions, memory, empathy, and it's also just a very relaxing activity to do. So when you are reading, make sure to actually set some time aside for it, even if you don't have much time, to really get into it. And of course, it's nice to really get comfortable, get out a blanket, brew some tea, but you can read anywhere. And if you are choosing a book, make sure that it is something, again, that you really like, not because you think it has certain benefits to read that book, or you think you have to read that book, but just because you are genuinely interested. Number seven, give yourself a hug. Often we look to others for affection, but really we can just as well give ourselves some love in a form of a hug. And research shows that hugging, even hugging yourself, can lower your blood pressure, reduce stress, and also release some of the happy hormones like oxytocin. Number eight, eat more fruit. If you enjoy sweet snacks, cakes, uh, ice cream, cookies, it's a really great self-care routine to incorporate into your day. Of course, fruit is good for everyone, but especially if you have a sweet tooth, then having the habit of eating some fruit every day can really help to reduce sweet cravings. And of course, it's just also really yummy. Number nine, go outside and be in nature. 
Often when I feel stressed or disconnected, I realize that I haven't been out in nature in a while. Our brains are hardwired to enjoy being around greenery and water because our brains are still almost exactly the same as when we were cave people. So go outside, get some fresh air, go to a park or a forest or the beach, try to find something where there's greenery or water. Number 10. Do something creative. Creativity can help focus the mind and really when we're feeling stressed or when we're just mentally not feeling our best, then doing something creative can be a really good outlet. So try to connect with your inner kid for a while. Don't worry too much about making mistakes or doing it wrong or making a mess. It's really just about creating something and anything you make is good. So try to make something outside of yourself like art or music or dancing and let that creative side of yourself that you might even not have known was there have the stage for a while. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.